listen to people. Just listen to your fantasy. That's the thing which brings you there, what you want the world to be. That's all I can tell you. And now I have to go to the fantastic piece. And if I... I'm so glad. I... Hi. I was disappointed. Hi. Sorry, I'm in cool. the middle of the, my, 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 lunch, my lunch break on, uh, on set here in, in, uh, <laughs> at Warner Studios in Leibstern. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting a Fantastic Beast at the moment. Oh, and really? It's pretty fun. Yeah. Mm. And so um, I hope you don't mind that I eat a little bit because afterwards I have to act again. Every interview is improved by asparagus. If asparagus improves, like we're good. So that's good. Excellent. So, you know, I, I think I'm sure everyone's going to tell you this, and I'm sure it's also the point of the show, but you are the most fun character on this show. You bring the joy to this show. Yeah. Everything about it. Like it, it, it lightens up the screen. Like you're, you know, such a huge asset to it. And I, obviously you were conscious of that, but how did you go about crafting this character, crafting the, the tone for the character? Was that something that was on the page or is that something that you really built with it? yourself i tried because I, I mean i'm i don't prepare too much for roles anymore i did my my my, my uh, i could say i did my workout for 30 years uh, i started i started acting since i was 10 years old and after having on netflix the show dark i did lots of other movies as well mm. but after dark i wanted to have another character to create another one and um, uh, the, uh, Ulrich and Dark were so depressive and each scene was getting worse and worse and worse. And there was always, the screw was always winding itself deeper into the shit. And I want a character which is more fun for me. Playing Ulrich was at the end no fun at all. Because, mm. you know, you, you always had to cry. There was always something very bad happening to you. You were always trying to get uh, to find your, your child. So this is this was horrifying for yourself. Mm. And this character, I like to play a light one, someone which brings joy to the people. That's why I do my job. I do my job because I want to bring joy to the people. I want I want them to laugh. And I did this lots of times on stage. And with this character, I thought I could do it. I could do it as well on 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 the, on the TV screen, and um, a director the director uh, uh, said to me it was uh, it's it, it's a it's a it's a character in between it's mainly like Han Solo in Star Wars, which also brings mm. the fun to Star Wars, mm. and uh, he's 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 uh, you know he's um, protecting the hero of the of the series uh, while he carries his burden to the to the arc and he's the funny guy besides him and um it, this i liked a lot i like this sniffling with the nose that he sniffles everything uh, which he is just sniffling everywhere and um even if there's any danger or stuff and um i, I loved this it was really it was really fun playing him I had my kids with me uh, doing the shooting in Croatia, and that was that was that was lots of joy. I was I was I was laughing a lot while I was doing this, and this is uh, uh, and this I hope this comes also to the audience. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and I think like the specific, it's always like he's a, he's aware that there's a joke that no one else gets, you know, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every, everyone else is yeah, of so course, um, but it's like he knows something. It's like he's able to experience things on a different level mm. but and he's not addicted to any tribe so he's not in um, in a relationship to a tribe he's for himself for himself and he's um he's the he's he's the he's the cowboy in in the yeah. series yeah he's, he's the cowboy he has he doesn't have the millennium falcon but he has his fire car fire fighting car with the solar panels and um he knows everybody he could go everywhere, and you can you can you can follow him during the, um, uh, depending on how much uh, how much seasons we do, he will he will he will experience a lot of new adventures because he knows all the tribes. He's he's been mm -hmm. everywhere, and his uh, his fantasy is going to the Northern Alliance where he can live on the sh uh, offshore uh, somewhere with in a in a big villa with uh, and, and with nice servants, and that, that's mm -hmm. his that's his dream. 
and we even don't know whether we should go uh, sometimes what happened in South America and America and uh, in, in, in the US or in, in Australia, because the tribes are at the moment still only in Europa, but mm. the global impact happened to the whole world. So the, um, so there, there, there are lots, it's lots, lots of possibility to make up new stories for him. Mm. Have you already put in requests for you know, things you want to add to the character, things you want the character? Yeah, 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 I, I did some, I did some. I definitely want to meet this um, uh, this uh, this this girl from from Bratok. I want to have a nice fighting scene in Bratok. This this is mm. something I would really love to. And I, and I would love to go to, in one of these hoverboards. Or what what is it? Um, this 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 plane by the uh, where the Atlantean um, is mm, driving yeah. and it's called hover something. I, I lost the name, but I want to go with these things. And even in the in the arc people are they should be more like the matrix so so we have a series in between mad max star wars and matrix and mm. this makes a whole world up for new adventures and this is why i love this thing and this character can go i mean moses can be everywhere yeah and he can see the absurdity in everything you know as the more yeah, serious yeah, yeah. that it gets the more fun that he gets as a character because he can just completely twist the mood and twist every character. Nobody is the same when he's in a scene with them, you know? And he's the guy who always finds a way out. There's always, you know, mm. if, if, if dark things happen, there's always, he always knows a little hole where, where you can slip through. Mm. Did he come out fully formed or did it, did you have to kind of calibrate how ridiculous he would be, how animated he would be? like? How tonally was it really just about playing it off um with your fellow actors or like did it just come out yeah fully formed, like yeah. the birth of venus yeah it, it comes out of the moment mostly mm. it's it, it's for me I'm, I'm i'm just um most of the time i just improvise really some stuff yeah yeah so how so much of that made it just, into the show about half of it i would say really? so yeah 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 there was, I mean, the, the text, the lines were written, but how he reacts, what he's doing, this is, this comes at the moment. Um, I don't like to prepare a lot for those things. Yeah. You, you get, you know, um, it's just like that you get, you talk to the director, if you have a, a connection with the director and he says you want two or three things, that's enough. Where you don't, you, you don't need to know. And he said, maybe he's a guy who's sniffling with his nose everywhere. And then this is something you can play. You can you, you can always use it. You know, mm. you have always something to do when you when you play. Just instead of just standing there and 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 letting your lines come out of your mouth, you just you can sniffle somewhere, and and this makes something with a character. And uh, so this was this was lots of the things just happened during the first rehearsal, and then we shot. What was your favorite improvised line that ended up in the final product? I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yes, I know. I, I had this, I had this, I had this line. Um, uh, uh, you, you know the, the 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 date on the cans. Um, when yeah. I opened with the can opener, I opened this can, beans, which yeah. uh, best before nineteen, uh, best before nineteen twenty nine, and we we are in the, uh, in, now in nineteen. Uh, catch, best before twenty uh, two thousand twenty nine, and serious plays in two thousand seventy four, mm. and he said, um, this uh, the best before date is an invention of the food industry, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's they just made it up. It's just an invention that you buy more products. And this line, yes. the, the, uh, uh, I improvised this line, and um, the director wouldn't take it. I said, "You have to take it because <laughs> this is the best line. This is the punchline." I like. I love the line because because my uh, uh, my, my father-in-law he always used to say this line. And I agree. I'm the same person. <laughs> my whole kitchen is like you know, people come over. They're like, "No, oh, can we still eat this?" I'm like, "Yes." The date says just before, you know. It's fine. Exactly. I mean, you can. It's 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 it's, it's um, but it, it doesn't say uh, that that is that is bad afterwards. <laughs> of course, obviously, um, the it's stuff he's bad. eating is just um, 
not that bad after <laughs> after 40 yeah. years. <laughs> not true. And then, yeah, the whole performance route is like, oh, okay, not so good. That's amazing. It's, it's a little bit, uh, it's a reminiscence to, to the Mad Max scene where he's eating dog food, you know? Mm, yeah, true. True. Great scene. But I wanted to ask, you know, a bit more, you know, coming off of dark, obviously I love dark, as you can see from the jacket, but um, obviously- You don't have you know, to apologize when you love dark. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when you're looking at, you know, how, how that opened up, you know, your career, because obviously this is something that was seen all across the world. Now you're appearing in um, Fantastic Beasts. What were the sort of, you know, what did you get approached for that you hadn't been before after dark? How, how were you treated differently? after dark and how did you maneuver that and maneuver through that i was treated good always so um um uh, it, it it's it's not the uh, the question is not how you are treated the, the, the question is always how do you treat yourself and um uh, how, how do you find yourself and can can i get along with me me and myself i was treated Quite good in Germany. I was, I was, I had a big hit with a movie called Er Zwieda Da, where I played Adolf Hitler. Yeah. I played lots of other stuffs. And um, for the world, of course, I became famous with Dark. And um, that was pretty nice because I have friends everywhere now. Um, uh, when I go to Rome and I shoot a movie in Rome, I get treated very well in the restaurant and I get treated very well on the streets in New York because people recognize me. That's yeah. quite fun. It's not that like people go screaming and shouting and press is running behind me and uh, is hunting me. That's that's not the fact now. Uh, I hope it will never be that way. Mm. But in the moment, this is uh, it's quite nice. And uh, of course, this opens up new um, um, new adventures and new uh, things to do, new shows I can be in. So um, if you do something which is recognized that well, then it is star. Mm. What are the sorts of things you've been offered since then? Didn't what, sort of your question. what sort of opportunities has that given you? Have you been offered, you know, different parts? Mm. I get lots of requests from everywhere in the world. Mm. Really, from everywhere in the world. And um, even Italy, which is, for me, I, I, I like to be in Italian shows because I'm half, of, uh, I'm a half Italian. Mm. So my father's Italian. So I never had an opportunity to go to the Italian market. Now I have. I don't know which decisions I'm going to do. At the moment, I'm in the English and American market with uh, Fantastic Beasts. So yeah. I don't know if this comes from Dark or from another film. I did this. Um, I did a film with Warner in Germany, and this was uh, when Hitler stole Pink Rabbit. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I got here now and shooting Fantastic Beasts. Maybe it has not so much to do with, uh, um, with Dark, but um, it will open up new opportunities from everywhere in the world. and. But I have children in Germany and on Mallorca, so um, uh, I, I can't be everywhere in the world. Um, it's it, it's good to stay in Europe at the moment. So London yeah, is yeah. Also, uh, always a nice place to shoot. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. And they're going to want you to brood too much if they like. They want you to that serious, you know, dark tone as well. You might not be offered, you know, the same things you would for for tribes. You know, the sorts of characters mm -hmm. that they envision you for. But you know, it's it's a question which um, which character you choose. It's yeah. not only you know you get lots of opportunities, but you, you can't do it all. So you, you do two, three, four, five things a, a year. That's it. You can't do more. Yeah, it's not possible. So um, it's always a question of uh, what 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 do you want to play next? Mm. Sometimes I see a guy on the streets. You know, I just see one guy and I follow him because, of course, it's my 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 job is. Um, when I get when I get nothing to do, I'm just sitting in a restaurant. I watch people. I love watching people mm. and how they behave, how they act, uh, um, uh, and, and trying to get into them. And then I just uh, I try to figure out who's that guy. What might he do? What might he have for a job? Um, what is he mm. thinking now? How is he behaving now? Why is he looking so strange? What, uh, why is he so sad? And mm. uh, I, I start to ask myself these questions, and then I'm uh, then I, I fall in love. I, I, I fall in love with, with some some guy or some some girls or some some people I just I just see on the streets, and then I want to play them, and then I make up a, a, a character. Mm. So you know, and that this has sometimes this what I have in mind uh, in the in the first view doesn't has anything to do with the character they offer me. Mm. 
Yeah. But if I, if I see a possibility to get this, what I have in mind on this character, it works at the end. Yeah. So sometimes it's by accident, you just bring stuff together. And, and I, I'm, I'm looking for those things who give me the opportunity to do so. Mm. You know, this is the roles I take where I can bring in the stuff uh, I have in my mind. No, and I, I look forward to seeing it. Even so, so that's it. That's that's mainly it, and that's that's a fun thing about being an actor, you know. Absolutely. And everything is acting. Then, if if you do a show and you're on a show, and uh, even if you don't shoot, um, you yes, good to travel. So, um, I'm about to travel to see Mats Mikkelsen and Jude Law. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think everyone can very do it. nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm having fun in a moment. No, but what I wanted to say is that everything which occurs in reality, um, you, you you take it and you change it to something which you bring into the art. So everything has something to do, which I see with the thing I'm doing at the moment. So this is um, some kind, some of yeah. That's that's. That's how I try to shape my reality. And I strongly mm. believe in that everybody can shape his own reality the way he wants it to be. Mm. You know, and that's, and I'll be in the, uh, I wanted to be, become an actor because I wanted to be the guy on the screen. I wanted to live in those mm. worlds. I want, I want, I didn't want the reality which exists. I want to make up my own reality. And if people tell you, you know, that's not for real and you will not succeed and you will not reach that, it's not reachable, never listen to people. Just listen to your fantasy. That's the thing which brings you there, what you want the world to be. That's all I can tell you. And now I have to go to the Fantastic Beasts. <laughs> well, tell Mads and Jude that I said hi. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>